let's move on to uh, a game that's lost a lot of its luster. 1 p.m. Eastern, Los Angeles Rams, 4-1, 2-0 on the road at New York Giants, 1-4, 0-2 at home at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey. Clearly, we need to get more information on the Giants injuries, and we should start there. Let me give you a line before we move any further. And not all the books have offered it, but the Rams are 10.5-point favorites. The total is either at 47.5 at 47. So let's start with the Giants. I mean, that's the key part in this whole equation. Coming off the ugly 44-20 loss at Dallas, saw them lose Saquon Barkley to the ankle injury and Daniel Jones to a concussion. Jones is in concussion protocol, and he didn't look too bad. I could see Jones playing. Barkley's not going to be playing for two, two, three weeks. But that was just the beginning of the injuries. Kadarius Toney was excellent. 10 catches for 189 yards. He sustained an ankle injury. It's been said not significant, questionable, should be expected to play. Cornerback Rodarius Williams tore his ACL, done for the season. Offensive tackle Andrew Thomas was active against the Cowboys, but was only available in case of emergency. Will he be good to go this week? Kenny Galladay suffered a hyperextended knee. He's questionable to go this week. They're already playing without Sterling Shepard and Darius Slayton who are again questionable to go this week, along with safety Jabril Peppers. Mike Glennon came in and looked okay. 16 25, 170. I don't know if it's 197 or 176. I messed it up, you know, less than 200 yards, but he looked good enough. But through two picks, this defense just couldn't get any stops. The Cowboys rolled. The Giants got two sacks, five quarterback hits. Oh, sorry, the Cowboys. Oh, the Giants got the Cowboys offense just rolled, and the Giants got the two sacks, five quarterback hits. These Rams come in off extra rest and preparations after a 26-17 win at the Seahawks on Thursday night. They were held to just three points in the first half before finding a rhythm. Stafford, 25-37, 365 yards, one touchdown, one interception. Robert Woods, 12 for 150 yards. Cooper Cup, 7 for 92 yards. Daryl Henderson ran 17 times for 82 yards. The Rams finished with 476 yards of offense. That's the most they've amassed, they've amassed in the last 20 games. That's crazy. 476 yards of offense and three points in the first half and 26 points in the game. Aaron Donald was all over the field. Seven tackles, two for losses, one sack, three quarterback hits. Nick Scott, Troy Reader each had interceptions. Quarterback Darius Williams suffered an ankle injury in the fourth quarter. He did not return. He's been placed on IR. So they lose Darius Williams, but this is a healthy group. Uh, Birdie is saying the exact same thing I was thinking. The exact same thing I was thinking here. And that is this has to be a get-right game for the Rams D, doesn't it? I lean under here. This has to be a business-like performance for the Rams, regardless of who's playing a quarterback for the Giants. This is a is starting to scream at me towards the under. Let's just take one look and see if we have any information on the market. Six thousand nine hundred forty-six things in. Eighty-one percent of the tickets, ninety-four percent of the cash on the Rams, and then forty-one percent of the tickets, eighty percent of cash on the over, which I don't understand. Bebzy, take it away for us here, Rams, Giants. I mean, yeah, we're we're lockstep. You, Birdie, myself, uh, I agree. I think this has to be a uh, dominant performance from the Rams, coming in and facing a very wounded Giants squad. Uh, I feel so bad for Saquon Barkley. Just supreme talent poor guy can't stay healthy another just unlucky injury somebody stepping on the outside of his foot brutal hate to see it um and i don't look if you're if you're joe judge and and you believe daniel jones is the guy which i don't know how you can at this point but if you do you're not throwing him to the wolves He's not – like, they shouldn't play him. If he's even kind of questionable to play, and we all saw him walking off that field, he should not be playing this week. His brain got scrambled. He was legless walking away. I would hate to see him play. Uh, you know, I'm I, uh, I'm very sympathetic to the players, and I want them – none of them to ever get hurt. Uh, so I hate seeing – I hate seeing that. I really hope they don't play him. I don't know if it's a big dip if, you know, if he's not playing because I don't think that much of Daniel Jones. He, man, he can throw a pretty deep ball, uh, but that's it. That's all I ever see from him is every now and then he just he throws a, a unbelievably beautiful ball and then he'll throw up a bunch of ducks. 
but I, the Rams on extra rest, playing an inferior team, I think their defense shows out, and I think they, I think they cruise in this one. Um, I'd be worried a little bit about a backdoor cover with these numbers being so high and the fact that the Giants are at home. Um, but I was looking at first quarter and first half to bet on the uh, on the Rams here, and I think I might just have to pull the trigger on both of them. Well, let's discuss this a little more because Fernando and Senior says Rams team total over, and Dom Reach says Rams team total over with a question mark, where I'm the complete opposite. I think the bet is Rams team total under. I do not. And then again, obviously that means under in the full game under. I do not see why the Rams wouldn't just completely, uh, completely just come in with a business night, business like approach. Trusty says, is this a look ahead spot for the Rams? I mean, we know the Lions are who they are, but Goff and Stafford have to be involved emotionally. It's hard to take Giants plus 10 and a half. I think I should even wait. I, I just think this is a, this is just a business lunch. You know, maybe that's the wrong term. This is just a get the job done and get out. You know, this is a road corporate gig for you, Pepsi. Go yeah. in, do the job, get paid your money, yep. and get out healthy and safe. Get the car back in the garage. Do and, your time. Yeah. Don't call anyone any names. Lose your temper. Just get it done. I agree with you, but I do think – I just think this – this Giants team, if you're if you're betting the team total under for the Rams, you're now placing your money in the Giants' hands, saying, "Please stop this offense." Um, which I don't know if you can. What what I am comfortable with is a first quarter minus three and a first half minus six and a half, because again, I think you will see business Rams taking care of it. And then, who knows? You know, maybe foot off the gas a little bit in the second half. If this is a look-ahead spot, hey, we got uh, we got the uh, winless Detroit Lions next week. Uh, I, I I don't know if it's a look-ahead spot. I understand the emotions for Stafford. Maybe not Goff the way he was uh, ousted from town, but Stafford I think cared about the team in Detroit. So maybe there's some emotion there. I don't know if I would give this look ahead credibility. Uh, I just see a vastly superior team playing a vastly inferior team and the Rams have more rest right now and they're healthier. Yeah, this is, um, well, I know what I want to do here. The only thing is that it plays against sort of my my plan, which was that if there's more money bet than tickets, I shouldn't bet on the other side. And that's something I've been trying to do here, but it didn't help me at all this past week. And I know the public just completely ate, but there's still 80% of the cash is on the over for whatever reason. Can I just like to very quickly, I'll, I'll launch up for you here in a second, but I'd love to see if the what well, Pinnacle is not even up on this game. Let's see what Ben Online has done with this total here. This total, Jesus, of course, because it came out a week early. We watched Birdie hit these totals. This was, The look-ahead total was 50. Of course, that was including Daniel Jones. 48, 47 and a half, and 47. Uh, Crystal Warren says, I agree with Jimmy. Even if they're smart, they'll slow oh, – if they're smart, excuse me, they'll slow it down for their defense. Maybe a first half over, though. Arthur Me Jr. says, don't go against your plan – Mm. Brady says, I would say the Lions would be a better look next week than the Giants are this week. I agree with that. The Lions are a team buying into golf and will play for them. I can't wait to talk about the Lions. Uh, I, I, they, there's no team I enjoy watching and capping more this year than the Detroit Lions. It's just, it's a soap opera and it's sad. And the coach ends up crying and I love it. Uh, okay, let's shop for Bebsy here right now. We're going to go first quarter on the spread. So, Bebsy, this is a double up spot for you early. Yep. Bet 365 is the only book hanging a first quarter. That's shocking. I will double check this, but right now it's first quarter minus three, minus 110, and first half. I really think that this is a spot where they don't show up 
the way we expect them to. I really do. I think that, you know, Glennon will be there, all these injuries, and I, 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 I would agree with you if if it wasn't McVeigh and Stafford. These these men are professionals. I want the Rams team total under 30 and a half. Now I'm gonna sit with this. Like that's what I've been doing. Not that's helped the last three four weeks, but I'm gonna sit and stare at this after the show. But Rams team total under 30 and a half. And the full game under 47 and a half is what I'm going to do. This is a situation where, God, do you, do you think there's a, I mean, what, what's the latest, re, I mean, I tried to get the latest Daniel Jones information. Is there any chance he's back in action here? Are they going to want him to face Aaron Donald here after the concussion? This is what I'm saying. Like, you're going to throw your guy to the wolves when he's clearly been, been, Hit hard. There was no no minor concussion. Are you gonna throw him out there against Aaron Donald? <laughs> For me, Junior says Peter Loshak should get some carries if Saquon Barkley can't go. Birdie says also don't forget Stafford hurt his hand last week. I I think this is um okay, I know what I'm doing and I'm on a different angle than Bebsy. Uh Ski Prop says why Rams team total up? Under, I, I, I just don't see them going into the 30s in this game. I don't see the, any need to do that whatsoever. I mean, look what look now. No, this was a mistake, but look what the Vikings did against the Lions. Look, this hurt. This made Zimmer look bad and almost cost them the game. It probably should have cost them the game. But they were they had no fear of the Detroit Lions, so they were so conservative. If Glennon is not the quarterback. This will be a mistake, probably. But if Glennon's the quarterback, he can't hurt you. These guys can't hurt you. They can't beat you. So why go all out? Uh, Ski says, just bet the full game under if you think the Rams don't score. No, I think the best edge in a 10.5 point favorite spot would be a team total under on that team. I really do. If I think that a team is going to be all business and not really – put in maximum effort, then I would love to take it. Uh, if they're a huge favorite, I think that's the best angle for me. So uh, Arthur Mead Jr. agreeing with you on that spot. Uh, I don't. Uh, Dom says, I think it's easier for them scoring 34 than 24. I don't. On the road in a game that's going to start at 10 in the morning for their for them. Cindy plays horses says the defense could score 14. I do not think that Glennon will take the risks that he was taking against the Cowboys when he comes in and they're already down huge. So, no, I look, uh, look, I understand this is not a popular spot, a popular pick, uh, but that's that's my direction right now. A Pepsi first quarter minus three and first half minus six and a half. Oh, then those were both at, at bet 365. So. All right, let's move on.